Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Gerald and today I will be talking to you about the quick release. This is one of my favorite accessories. I spend a lot of time developing it. I'll explain to you how it works and all the different features. The quick release is used to attach and detach your camera easily without having to turn your camera over and over again to be able to take it off. So the idea is there's a male part and a female part. The female part stays fixed and then the male part screws into the camera. So I have designed it in such a way that you should not have to take this part off anymore. Leave it on your camera at all times. If you want to put it on the quick release, put it on, pull down, attach it. You're done. It's fixed. Take it off when you're finished. If you want to put your camera on another piece of equipment that doesn't have the Bushman monopod base, no problem, you can do so. I have included a quarter inch female thread inside it so you can simply screw it on to another part that doesn't have the base. Here. You can always use it normally. The quick release is made of two parts. The first part, the top part, stays fixed on your camera. On the top is a quarter inch male thread, anti-slip o-ring that will help you keep your camera sturdy, a tightening nut, a sleeve that will allow you to attach it to the lanyard, and on the bottom of it, underneath it, is a female quarter inch thread that will allow you to still have this part on the camera and still be able to attach it to any other equipment that does not have the Bushman Paranek base. The base has a simple push-down solution. Underneath it has an anti-slip o-ring with a quarter-inch female thread for you to be able to attach it on any equipment. So I recommend using it on your monopod, which would be the most simple and easiest solution that people will be using. So this combo, I have made it to be able to be used for 360. It has a feature that when you have your camera fixed, sturdy, you can still rotate to decide where your stitch line is when recording and you have your equipment in place. Let me show you how I would use it. Bushman Monopod Pro. I would sit up on the top, release it, and put the, this little part on the camera. Monopod is up, press down, and you're in. It clicks in. So once your equipment is up and ready, we have this very cool feature that you, allows you to decide where your stitch line is. For example, today we're shooting in a factory. We set up all the equipment with a hello on top and a hello on the bottom, and the stitch line was exactly on the main object. So this allowed us to rotate the camera to have the important part in focus and no stitch line on it. Now, you want to go out and take your camera and screw it in another piece of equipment. You're not limited by the quick release. On the contrary, the quick release stays on the camera and simply screw it in and you're done. This is compatible with any other equipment, even if it doesn't have the base. You can use it on both. The base stays on the Monopod Pro. Now, let me show you another cool feature is the black little sleeve on the side. This little sleeve is really neat because you have your lanyard, you can have your camera around your neck or attached to other equipment for security. For example, shooting outside a window and you don't want your camera to fall. You can hook it there. You have it around your neck, you're going in the forest, you want to shoot, simply unclip it and you can take your shot. Put it back on a tripod, another quarter inch male thread or on the base of the quick release. Three different mounting possibilities just with this quick release. This is why I find it very cool accessory because this part always stays on the camera. You don't need to take it off. If you're an accessory nerd like me, I'll take a couple of minutes and explain to you what's happening in the quick release. Inside there are three ball pins that are putting pressure so when both parts are assembled, it's allowing you to rotate and still the camera is not moving up and down. It's quite tight. In addition to this, there's a anti-slip o-ring that we have put on the bottom part to increase the friction between the male part and the female part. So when it's in, it's tight 
and you can rotate the camera with a little bit of force but still when you're running around the camera doesn't rotate by itself it is held down with three technical balls that are released when you pull down it releases it blocks the top part with this little groove so it is completely secure you would need to completely rip it apart before you would be able to take it off the black little sleeve on the bottom has two purposes the first one is to be able to untighten this bottom part that might be too tight you'll see that there's a hexagonal shape inside it that you can move it about and they will keep it tight you can tighten the camera like this because it's a very small part then the second part is when you're installing your camera be sure that the sleeve is under the camera then tighten the bolt and your sleeve will not be visible in the shot you can always then use it on the lanyard at all times if it's too tight loosen it always use the black sleeve if you don't have enough force or you can't grab it easily that's it guys thanks for watching let us know what you think in the comments below give us a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to our channel see you in the next one cheers